Alright, what is going on everybody? And today I am back here with another NBA 2K18 My League rebuild. And in this one is, is gonna be an LA Lakers offseason rebuild. Alright, so I think I've uploaded at least I think five days in a row, or at least four days in a row. I think five maybe. Or this might be six, so that's very impressive for me after the crappy start of the month I had where I uploaded once in one week. So if you guys are enjoying these rebuilds, let's see if this film gets a thousand thumbs up. And we are here with the Lakers rebuild. I don't think I'm gonna be trading one um D'Angelo Russell for uh, to try to get Lonzo. So I don't think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to roll with demoting here. Uh, obviously, Kyle Kuzma, they got as a steal, I think, with the 27th pick in which they got from the uh, the Nets trade for the Brook Lopez D'Angelo Russell trade. So uh, we are going here at the lottery. We have pick three and we got pick two, which I believe what they got in real life. And the Hornets, shout out to pick one or shout out to pick one. So shout out to them. Obviously, we're going to roll with Luke Walton. Let's go after Chad Peterson as our. Uh, assistant coach and okay so say I draft like I don't think I want to draft Donovan Mitchell like I don't want to draft Tatum we could go after like a Josh Jackson and eh, I don't know we'll see we'll see when the time comes so let's go to the NBA draft I want to see where they're ranking Kyle Kuzma in this kind of redraft so they have Kyle Kuzma okay uh, at what is this 11 so we would have to trade into the top 10 to get him which I think I could definitely do. First, though, I want to trade Mozgov, and I'm going to move Dang. Obviously, this is this is very, or it's a lot easier to trade these contracts in 2K than real life. So we just traded Mozgov to the Sixers for two seconds. We're going to trade Wool Dang to the Warriors. So now they're not going to be able to bring back Curry, which I'm not going to sign, but it makes the West a lot easier to go through. Or they're not going to be able to bring back KD, and we're going to trade uh, Corey Brewer to the Bulls for two second round picks. Now, am I done with trades, or do I have anybody else? Ingram, Clarkson, okay, I think we're good, so we have, ooh, we have the 28th pick from the Rockets, but I definitely think I can move up if I trade the 28th and all the seconds, I don't think we have our pick next year, and no, we don't, uh, so could I maybe get number 9 from the Sixers, I would have to throw in my 2019 first, uh, alright, who has picked 10, it is the, okay, the Pelicans, so I think it's the Kings that have it, uh, the Kings have 11, so could I trade all that for pick 11, I do not want to give up my 2019 pick. I will also give you uh, a 2020 pick. But if I do that, I want the Sixers ninth pick. Okay, so we have the ninth pick in the draft. Who I'm gonna hopefully, or I'm gonna hope to get Kuzma. We have number two, which I guess we'll see. Uh, I might go for Markkanen, or we'll see. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna trade the pick. Like, what could I get if I threw up Clarkson in the second pick? Thon Maker, Middleton, Kevin Love, the third pick in Jalen Brown, Mike Conley, Schroeder, and Howard, Chris Bosh, Kemba, Jokic. You know what? Uh, I, might, I think I'm going to do this trade because Jokic is still on a great contract where I could have some money in free agency to go after somebody. And next year he's on that contract too. I feel like I got to do this trade. So we're trading 2019 Warriors first, the second pick in Jordan Clarkson for Will Barton and Nikola Jokic. That trade is done. So we only have the ninth pick here. I'm going to hope that Corey Brewer falls to us. I'm at just kidding. Uh, Not Corey Brewer. I'm actually going to move up. I'm going to trade Larry Nance and the ninth pick to try to get up to like six. Kyle Kuzma. But honestly, we can get somebody better at six. So there you go, Dad. So we have the sixth pick in the draft. I will see you guys in the signings with who I draft. We just got the Joker on the squad. Look at these great offers. I can get McCollum for the sixth pick. I can get Draymond. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, who is here? Josh Jackson is here. Fox Tatum is here. Come on. They're just asking me to draft Tatum. Kyle Kuzma is here. Um, I get Tatum a lot. Uh, do I want Tatum? Do I have cap space? Let me check. Can I check here? Um, our highest paid contract right now is we have Julius Randle. We're paying a decent amount of money too. So what could I get for the six pick? And, like, Julius Randle. Could I get Dr I don't want Draymond because I got him in yesterday's video with the Sixers. So, I could get with Marcus Aldridge. But he would cost us 21 mil. He would play power forward for us. We would have him and the Joker. But he is 31. And it's the last year for his deal. I might do it. I could get Whiteside and Bosch. And obviously, this is a better deal. But we would take on more cap space. I can get Kevin Love. He's got two years on his deal. Honestly, all right, we're going to do this trade. We're going to trade the sixth pick in Joyce right now for Kevin Love and Richard Jefferson. Uh, we take on, obviously, Cap with this trade. You can keep Richard Jefferson. I don't want him. 
and that trade is completed. So we end up having no jet picks um, after having the second and the what the ninth pick at one point, and we end up trading it for Nikola Jokic and Kevin Love. And it looks like the Cavs decided to take Josh Jackson with that pick. So welcome to the team. No rookies, uh, but we do have okay. Nick Young, I'm trading black. We're not gonna bring back new album. I'm not gonna bring back. Okay, so let's go to trade finder. I'm gonna be moving, uh, not Ingram, Nick Young. Uh, what can I get for Nick Young? I just want a salary dump. Uh, thank you very much, Atlanta. They're picking 2019 top three protected qualifying offers. We have none. My free eight or free agency. Let's see what we got here. So we have. Uh, Tariq Black or Tower Ennis if you want to bring back, but we're not. So, I might go after Chris Paul. Uh, it looks like the 76ers are going to get Curry, and we got him in the last video. I might go after Chris Paul and then move Russell to shooting guard, because we have the money to do so. Uh, yeah, and then we would have a Chris Paul, Russell, Ingram, Love, Jokic starting five, which is pretty filthy. And we could also maybe sign Gordon Hayward as well. Okay, could I sign both of them? If I renounce the rights on everybody here, I should be able to sign both of them. Oh my god. Welcome to the team, Gordon Hayward and Chris Paul. Okay, I'm sorry, Brandon Ingram, but you're not going to be starting because we just picked up Gordon Hayward. Wow. This team is very good. Uh, Tony Allen is getting a lot of love. I'm going to try to swoop in here, offer him a two-year deal. How many starting caliber or players that I want to play next year? We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we need one more player to sign a free agency. And it's Tony Allen. Cool. Okay, so that's going to be for me now. I will see you guys at the end, end or at the start of next year. Excuse me. I'm just going to sign a couple players uh, down here like Cristiano Felicio, Brandon Best. That are never going to play. I just got to sign them. So I'll see you guys at the start of season number one, really. And this team is stacked. All right, guys. Here is the squad. We got Chris Paul, D'Angelo Russell, Gordon Hayward, Love, and Jokic. That starting five is just filthy. Brandon Ingram, Will Barden, Tony Allen, and then Zubach coming off the bench. So we don't really have a point guard, but I guess Allen... And Barton can both run point guard at some times off the bench. And then we have Ingram and Zubach. So, we better... We honestly have a chance to go worse to first. Okay, NBA.com is sleeping on us as the 14 seed. 2K Sports, okay, they're not sleeping on us. They have us at the 2 seed. And then Mark Spears is also sleeping on us at the 16th seed. Uh, I just want to check if we have any free agents. Jokic, I think, is a free agent in another year. Because he's got a team option, right? Yep. Uh, Love is a free agent in two years. Uh, Barden looks like he's a free agent this year. If he's only asking for 7.8 mil, I'm definitely going to sign him at the deadline. And I will see you guys at the end of season number one. And I think we have a chance to go from, like, one of the worst teams in the Western Conference to one of the best. All right, guys. So, Kevin Durant wins MVP. I wonder if Steph Curry is on their team, but we'll check that out. Lonzo Ball ends up on the Nuggets with the number two pick. Obviously, they took him instead of having Nikola Jokic on their team. Dwayne Wade, sixth man of the year in... Chicago, okay, obviously probably still backing up Jimmy Bowler, just his jersey throws me off to see what team he's on, Draymond defensive player of the year, Buddy Heald most improved and Steve Kerr coach of the year still in Golden State I'll be second team Harden, Butler, Davis so, oh there we go, Jokic, 16 well 17 points a game, 10 boards, 5 and a half assists, 1.7 blocks, beast just an absolute beast, no Steph Curry making an all NBA team which is very interesting there's Chris Paul, an all NBA or all defensive second team, average a double double Career high to assist, which is actually a second career high, but very nice season from him. Uh, and yeah, so let's just get into this. Josh Jackson was traded for Kevin Love. Uh, I think we, uh, I, I was gonna check out Kuzma's stats, but we didn't get a chance. So we grabbed the third seed in the Western Conference and we were taking on the six seeded Utah Jazz. I think we should win. I don't know if the Kings signed Curry. Okay, did the Sixers sign Curry? No, who signed Curry? Oh, the Warriors were able to bring him back, really, with having, um, Whose contract was it? Didn't I just trade them like a really high contract? Did they really just... Wait, hold on. They actually flipped whatever bad contract I gave them for... Well, yeah, they traded Wall Dang and they were able to flip them for Marvin Williams. Okay. Uh, Wade Broad, never heard of this guy before. And my voice just cracked. Alright, well, enough with the standings. Let's check out the stats. So, we had four 16-point per game scores. Uh, Gordon Hayward and Kevin Love were the other ones that I haven't mentioned. 9.9 .9 boards for Love. I'll take it. 1.2 blocks a game. Russell, 15.4 points as a shooting guard. Barton, 10 and 10 for Ingram off the bench. So we were a very good scoring team. We had to be one of the better scoring teams in the NBA. Okay, yeah. Fourth highest scoring team. And we were the fifth best defensive team, which is pretty solid. We had the fifth best point differential. So 
We are taking on the Jazz in round one. They don't have Gordon Hayward. They won 38 games. We should be able to beat them. There we go. Now we're taking on the Rockets, who obviously we have Chris Paul. They don't. And yes, yeah, so I think we should beat them with an ease. Game one. Well, if you guys remember in yesterday's video, uh, well, I guess it'll be a spoiler alert, where James Harden went God mode in overtime of game five or game four, knocks down a three in my, my face from like 30 feet out as time expired. Chris Paul had a triple double and we lost. And we're down 3 1. Great. Uh, the Rockets are just so good in 2K simulation. Uh, I tried also bringing back Will Barden at the deadline, but he just didn't want to come back. And we get blown out. Makes sense, 2K. Honestly, makes so much sense. All right. Well, screw this. I'm going to move on. Uh, well, we're not getting any younger, which is not good. Okay. At least we lost to the team that won it all. Harden, finals MVP. Okay. 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 Uh, we don't even have our first up big. Obviously, it didn't have much value to begin with. So let's just go. Oh, I didn't turn off league meetings. That's not good. Uh, let's go to staff signing. Um, I'll keep Walton for now. Uh, NBA draft. If there's anybody I want to trade because I don't think there is. Okay. Uh, so let's go to rookie signings. We had a second round pick. Jalen Adams from UConn. We'll sign him. Why not? Uh, team player options. Obviously bringing back Jokic, Russell, Zubac, and Ingram. Uh, four huge players to the squad, and we'll offer these guys qualifying offers. It's only the minimum. I don't really care. So, uh, we should have some type of minimum exception if 2K was some type of, uh, if it wasn't broken, Aldridge and Melo would be able to come here, but they nerfed literally every single way to get a minimum exception. So, we're going to offer Dwayne Wade a deal. If there's a point guard, a, I said point guard, a point guard that wants to come off the bench for us, I will happily bring them in, like Patty Mills. Uh... Please bring me Patty Mills. And we get Patrick Mills. Okay, well, Barden, I have to bring back. Uh, so we signed Patty Mills. Dwayne Wade goes to the Grizzlies. Please tell me Barden didn't sign yet. Uh, okay, cool. He didn't. Let's offer him that much. Uh, and we get Will Barden. Okay, so we bring in Will Barden and Patty Mills. And hopefully, whatever, we get Felicia with them on the restricted deal. So that is going to be for me now. I will see you guys at the start. Uh, all right, I will match that. Uh, I will see you guys at the start of season number two. I would love to bring in Joel Embiid, but obviously we have no money. And I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. All right, guys. So here's the rotation. Once again, we got Paul Russell, who's at 88. So honestly, we almost have 590s. We almost have 590s starting for us. Jesus, that could happen at the end of the year. But I do see love kind of regressing. But Hayward's a 90. Jokic should be 90 at the end of the year. He's 23. Paul's still a 92. Wow. Uh, we have Ingram, Barden, Allen, Zubach off the bench. Yeah, I couldn't even find minutes for Patty Mills. So we better... Do better than just a second round exit next year. We are the nine team according to NBA.com. Number one according to the 2K Sports, even though I don't like what they say. And nine according to Mark Spears. So hopefully we can grab a one or a two seed this year, not a three seed. And we can actually, hopefully we just avoid the Rockets is what I'm hoping. Okay, guys. So we ended the season 62 and 20. Triple double for Russell Westbrook. Marvin Bagley, rookie of the year. Muhammad Bamba gets sixth man of the year in New York. Obviously backing up Porzingis, who got hurt tonight, which I'm kind of scared about. Jermon Green, defensive player of the year. Most improved. Andre Robertson. Okay, yep. Great numbers from him. Uh, Steve Kerr, coach of the year. They won three more games than us, as you can tell. Then we were the two seed, and they were the one seed. Uh, Steph Curry gets back on all the first team. Did he win it last year, and I was just blind? Um, No, he didn't win it last year. Yeah, he won nothing in 2018 besides an all-star. Uh, only a second team. We get Jokic, again, with a great season from him, it looks like. Um, and Chris Paul, all NBA third team. So we made two people, or we had two people that made it all NBA teams. Chris Paul and, uh, Chris Paul makes all the bits of second team. So, we were the two seed. Uh, we were taking on the seven seed in Portland Trailblazers. We're probably gonna have to face the Rockets in round two. Stats wise, Russell was our winning scorer. Wasn't expecting this, but we had all starters averaged above four, 15 number points. Russell's a 90. Oh my God. Love has gone down to an 88. Hayward's still a 90, Jokic is a 90, and Paul's a 92. So we had one point, I think, five 90 starters, which is crazy. Uh, and yeah, so let's get into this. Uh, we are taking on the Trailblazers in round one. They're good. They have a great backcourt, but we should beat them. Oh, we don't have to face the the Rockets next. Nice. Okay, I'd rather face the Thunder, to be honest with you. Westbrook, they don't have, um, they do have Jordan Bell, but they don't have um, uh, Paul George or Melo. But they do win game one by four. Okay, Westbrook drops a triple-double. 
Uh, let's see, we're at the current round, and we win in five, and we're taking on the Warriors. The Spurs actually beat the Rockets in round one, so here we go. Golden State versus LA. We win game one by 25. Wow. Chris Paul had a double-double. Game two. We win. Let's go. Okay, we win by 11. Courage up 38, but that wasn't a match for seven players getting double digits, including 16 assists by Chris Paul and nine assists by Russell. Game three, we lose. We get blown out by 21. Clay drops 30. Game four. Yes, we're up 3-1. Russell dropped 35. Triple-double for the Joker. Come on, game six. No. Game seven. Yes, we're going to the NBA Finals to take on the Toronto Raptors, who have added Billy Hernan Gomez. Looks like that's about it. And they brought back to Mary Carroll, looks like. So, game one. They beat us. They blow us out. Come on. Game two. What? They win by four in overtime. 143 to 139. Wow, a lot of defenses played here. Jesus. Come on, do not go down 3-0. Okay, thank you. 2-1, to one, win by 18. Come on. There is no reason for them to be up 2-1. to one. We should tie it up right here. Please, thank you. We tie it up. We tie it up. We win 127-101. Chris Paul, 26 points, 13 assists, 20, re uh, 20 points, 12 rebounds for Jokic. And we're uh, tied 2-2 two two going, I think, to the Staples Center here for Game 5. And then back to the Air Canada Center for Game 6. I think that's where they play. As we take Game six or Game 5, Russell drops 26. And we're heading to Toronto for Game 6 where we can win it. I'm going to hop in if it's close. Come on. I don't want to go to a Game 7. I really don't. Okay, here we go. We got a lead. We got a lead. Uh, up by 3. Up by 5. Let's go. We're up by 9. And I will see you guys in the game as we are up by only four, but it's going to be a close one. Okay, guys, so we're here in the game, and thank God our jerseys aren't the same colors like sometimes they do. Uh, all right, so Russell's got 17. Who's in that point guard? Patty Mills. Can we get the starters in, please? Uh, okay. I don't know what I want to do here. I kind of want to run a pick and pop with maybe Jokic if we can get a good screen. Uh, find Ingram. Okay. Jokic on Valanciunas. Don't lose the... Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to blow this. Uh, Ingram. Uh, on DeRozan, and, okay, I, uh, of course, it's an N1. Uh, you couldn't just let him go to the line, can't you? Okay, so we're gonna be up by one, because DeRozan's probably gonna make this. We have all our starters in. Gordon Hitter only has nine points. Chris Paul fouls out, of course. Okay, so Russell is in. Uh, Russell to the rack. Come on, and you get blocked, you son of a... All right, all right, all right. Just somebody slow down DeRozan, please. Uh, who's got Lowry in the corner? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to lose this. We're going to lose this. All right. All right. Kick it to Patty Mills. Uh, Jokic, I need a pick and roll here. You, I need you to roll, Jokic. What was the... Oh, my God. Okay. He ties it up. 105 apiece. This is going to get very close. Okay. Can we actually play some defense? Well, I know Patty Mills can shoot threes, and it looks like he has a lot of energy, so I don't mind shooting it with him. Uh, DeRozan to the rack. No foul. Yes, let's go. Kick it to uh, Russell. Come on, Russell. Go demoting. Go. Should I pull up? No. Find love in the paint. Love, don't miss that. Let's go. Love is 24 and 15. Let's go in 36 minutes played. We're up by two. All right. We need clamps here. Come on. I don't need no 2K BS. DeRozan, no way that goes in. Let's go. Uh, run, Russell. Let's keep running. Uh, find Patty Mills. I'm not going to shoot that. Russell. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'd rather Russell be the ball hand over here. Pick and pop with Love. Love. Ooh. I thought I had that. I should have shot that. Oh, Gordon Hayward for three. Come on, Gordon. Let's... No, are you kidding me? The toilet bow shot rolls out. And that would have put us up by five. And, okay, they just missed the... Oh, okay, that was very lucky by us as well. All right, so we're still up by two. We score, and we're up by four. Which could guarantee us a win. So, especially a three. Like, if Gordon Hayward hit that, game's over. Uh, all right, let's get a pick from Jokic. Uh, Jokic, okay, well, great job, guys. Jokic, Jokic, let's go, Jokic! He's got 25, 9 boards, and 4 assists. Our two white big men are doing great out here. Well, I know, uh, Jokic is what, Serbian, I think he's from? Or what the, no, so, where is Jokic from? Is it Serb? This is gonna pick, piss me off if I don't get this. Where is Nikola Jokic from? Is it Croatia? No, I thought it was Serbia. Uh, yeah, he's Serbian. Okay, I was right. Uh, so Gordon Hayward here, uh, on Damari Carroll. Uh, let's, no threes, as we're up by four. Please, no threes. A quick two would still hurt us, but, uh, like, okay, I guess just DeRozan could just morph into the lane. 
Jesus, that was a bug. All right. Well, love just knocked out one, and that was the weirdest release. Okay, I was not expecting that quick of a release. Jesus. All right. So he knocks down the second one. They're gonna call timeout. We are up by five. We should be picking up the victory. Guys, stop, and we win pretty much. And then they're gonna play the fouling game. Uh, they want to take a two. Okay, that's all you. We're still up by three. Uh, yeah. They're gonna foul. I'm gonna knock my down my free throws. We're gonna win the championship. Uh, which is cool. Uh, yep. I knocked that one. If they call timeout, 2K is really going to stop being annoying. I just want to see if they call timeout. Oh my god, they're annoying. Right, guys, we should be picking up the victory. DeMar Cowan just hit a three. That was like the luckiest three ever. Uh, Russell makes both his free throws in that his game. He had 21 and 8. Uh, Russell, Jokic, and Love all at above 20 points. And uh, we are NBA champions in just season number two. Feels good. Like, look how good this team we had on the floor. And Chris Paul we didn't have because he fouled out. Like, this team is good enough with Love, Hayward, Jokic, Russell, Brendan Ingram, even Patty Mills, Will Barton, and Chris Paul wasn't even playing, and he found out. So, yeah, we are the 2019 NBA champions. My guess for Finals MVP is either going to be Jokic or Paul. I'm going to say it's going to be Chris Paul. That was wrong. Finals MVP is Nicole Jokic. He had 18 points and 11 boards and 5.8 assists. So, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys all did enjoy. Let's see if this video gets over 1,000 thumbs up. We had 590s at one point. We ended with 490s and 88 and 81, 81, 80, and a couple 80s. So this was a stacked team. Let me know in the comments what team I should do next. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.